Hi everyone, it's Arielle, your Director of Investor Relations here at Good Egg Investments. Today I'm going to talk to you more about the classes that we have available for Good Egg Select Opportunity North Edge Apartments. So we have three classes available, Class A, Class B, and Class C. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you more about what the three classes have to offer, the differences between the classes, and most importantly, which class is best for you. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. The three classes we have available, as mentioned, are Class A, Class B, and Class C. Class A is our preferred class and sits at the top of the capital stack. Classes B and C are our profit sharing classes and sits behind Class A. So what does this mean? You can think of it kind of like a pyramid. Class A is at the top and Classes B and C, equally as important, come behind Class A. Class A is our preferred return class, meaning it has a 9% PREF return. It also has monthly distributions. Class B and C both have an 8% preferred return and have quarterly distributions. Now, Class A, in order to be at the top of the pyramid, in order to be number one, is sacrificing the profit sharing at the end, whereas Classes B and C uh, it's sacrificing the top priority of the capital stack and a slightly lower preferred return are gaining the LPGP split at the end. So the profit sharing at the end. So class A is strictly preferred return, 9% return. That's what you can expect. Classes B and C have a LPGP split. Class B has a 70 30 split. That means 70% to you, the LP, 30% to us, the GP up to a 13% IRR, and then 50-50 thereafter. Class C has a 75-25 split, meaning 75% of the profits to you, the LP, 25 to us, the GP, up until a 13% IRR, and then 50-50 thereafter. So Class A has a floor of $100,000, uh, Class B has a floor of $50,000, and Class C has a floor of $250,000. So right off the bat, those are the major differences between the three classes. Now, Class A, I always say, is great for folks who are retired, maybe on a fixed income, people who prioritize cash on cash and monthly returns. So if you are someone whose motto is a dollar today is worth more than tomorrow, this is a great class for you. Uh, people who may be retired and may be your first time investing, uh, there's a little bit more uh, safety and less risk at Class A because you are at the top of the stack meaning that everybody in class A gets their 9% preferred return monthly, and then classes B and C get their quarterly returns. But again, for that uh, priority, you are sacrificing upside. You're, you're sacrificing the uh, split of profits at, at the end. Class B is great for people who want a mix of cash flow and upside. So it's a solid, solid class. You're able to get an 8% preferred return, which again, is slightly lower than class A. Um, you get quarterly distribution, so your timing is a little bit longer. Um, and then you get that 70-30 LPGP split. Again, 70 being you the LP, 30 being us the GP, up to that 13% IRR, then 50-50 thereafter. For this class, also we'll be able to take advantage of some of the uh, standard normalized depreciation from this property. It's not going to be a whole lot compared to some of our other value add properties because the construction for this property had already taken place. So you will be able to, at tax time, offset a little bit of income with some of that depreciation. So it's a nice little bonus. Class C, you're having an 8% preferred return. Quarterly distributions, just like Class B. The LPGP split is a bit higher, 75% to you, the LP, 25% to us, the GP, up to that 13% IRR, then 50-50 thereafter. Again, getting those tax benefits of that depreciation standardized, not a lot of depreciation, but a little bit, right? And then that bonus at sale. So this class, Class C, is great for, for people who also want that mix of cash flow and upside, but have higher amounts and want that extra bonus at the end. Those are the three classes that we have to offer um, and the major differences between the three and also why someone would invest in one over the other.